Hey guys, Mr. Wolf here, and I am back again with some more Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. And what did we do last time? We bought the bow and arrow, okay. <laughs> and I don't really remember where we're supposed to go. Let's see. We are supposed to go. Do we beat the catfish's ball? Let's go ask Uriah where we go next. Or old Raya. I can't remember his name. Hello, it's me, old Raya. Ask me anything about the island. If you get lost, give me a call. Bye, click. Okay, he's... N You're starting to like to music. Well, a frog named Mamu, who lives in the signpost maze, might know some new songs. But he charges a lot to play them. Well, we don't have any money, so... Uh, we can't necessarily do that right now, can we? I don't know, maybe we can. Well, let's see where we are. We need to go to the animal village right, right quick, like. Because yeah, that's the next part in our uh, fetch quest. And if you notice, we've only got one item left to find. But there's three dungeons. So something's, something must be up about that. We'll probably just find something really cool. And I looked up a thing about uh, where to find all the seashells. I still can't quite remember where they all are, but I know where most of them are now. So I also know some funny glitches that I might... Oh, crap. Hello. Get out of here. That I might be able to show off to you here and there and everywhere. A lot of it involves the, uh, the hook shot and finding weird glitchy abilities that take you, like, places you're not really supposed to go. So it's kind of fun. Now we need to go up here. Where is there's a, like a dog writing a letter? One of these houses. You. Oh, you brought me a hibiscus. How sweet. Well, since you are such a gentleman, I have a request. Sure, we'll do that. I'm taking a letter to Mr. Wright, which is actually spelled right, as in he writes. That's cool. You traded the hibiscus for a goat's letter. Oh, it's a goat. I thought it was a dog. Uh, it looks like a dog. It looks like, like a sheep dog or something. Anyway. Wait a second. We're going to... Uh, we're going to take this opportunity to fast travel over to the sunfish's little pond there. Because that's a bit closer to where we need to go. Because what we got to do is, oh, I can't remember exactly where it is, but it's somewhere in the Lost Woods maze. Ah, forget that guy. Did we determine that we could or could not get something out of here? I can't remember. Oh, by the way, I'm going to be cutting a lot of this in and out. There's no reason to watch this whole, me going back and forth getting lost is not worth watching, but me maybe showing you little snippets of what to do is useful. Oh well, 50 rubies, it's not bad. It's not a bad reward. Oh, let's see if I can do this this glitch here. Yeah, I can almost do it. Let's see. See that? Yeah! You can do that and, like, skip all kinds of stuff. If you, like, uh, jump at the right time you're doing the hook shot. But that's just like one of many really interesting uh, glitches and fast travel. You know, like, uh, it's, it's stuff that speedrunners do, basically. It's like ways to get past. You don't even have to get certain items at all in the game. You can beat the whole game and, like, cheat your way through certain things. Actually, this guy's got one. Where is it? Oops. See if I can make it happen. Uh, anyway, anyway, you get down there and you get like right on the edge of it, and he like knocks you past the hole, and you can get through the whole Lost Woods without needing the. Uh, here's Mr. Wright, by the way, without needing the mushroom and powder. So it's cool. <laughs> the a goat. The goat sent this letter, and this and, and the photograph in it always makes me laugh because it's like. 
This is his pen pal. It's a, it's a picture of Princess Peach. Oh, what are we doing? We're doing this wrong. Hey, no, no, no. What are we going to do today? Is we're going to make it the desert. She's so beautiful. Got a broom. Oh, and uh, I know where to use the broom. I remember now. This... I think he finally realized that the photo is not what he thought it was. Oh no, like like, still eat my shield. And yeah, yeah, they'll, they'll like literally eat my shield. Oh no, yeah, die with me. This is pretty good that I'm getting rupees easy at least because uh, I desperately need them because the only way to get the third ocarina song is to pay for it after you complete a maze. Isn't that lame? Like you gotta complete the puzzle. And then he charges you. But I think it's only like... It's not a whole bunch. I think it might be just 200. It's not... It's not... Undoable. More stuff to skip. Oh, I can get this heart piece at least. Because I can finally move these skulls now. Oh, and uh, a cool trick and actually a speedrun technique. When you have a bomb and an arrow selected at the same time, you can shoot... What is essentially a freaking rocket. And it is awesome. Wish I could take Bow out with me. I think there's a... I don't know if I ever dug it up, but I think there's a seashell in here. Yeah. Is that... It's Wart! From Super Mario World 2. Super Mario Brothers 2. You never played that? You should have played that. It's pretty good. He's the main bad guy. Not Bowser. Swart. It was taking too long to uh, farm, so I've decided to go do a couple other things. And I'll get I'll get to 300 rupees. It won't be a big deal. But I got a seashell. Yay! Seashells all day. Something is bound I can't remember where the broom lady is, just she'll wind up. I need, I need her. I need her to make it to the next area. She's not going to be lost and forgotten forever. But I think there's an area we... We missed here. That will allow... Yeah, let's see, there's a bomb spot over there that I never opened. And it's got rupees in it. Or, uh... In uh, A Link to the Past, I think you can smash open doors with the boots. But anyway, see, it takes a second for you to blow up the wall like that. Now, if I had shot it with the super arrow torpedo thing... Oh, it's a seashell. Well, that's, that's good, too. Okay, so I found another seashell. I got it. It's, I keep missing it, though. Ah, oh, crap. It's like you can't dive for it, either. Looks like you should be able to, but no. I think if I hit it downwards... Yeah, okay. There's another seashell. Just so you know. Now back to the old grind because I'm still finding rupees and trying to find Broom Lady and just anywhere else I haven't been yet. Found another seashell! Yay! So close. Just need five more seashells. I missed two because uh, I found out that you actually have to... If you have exactly five... Then it gives you another seashell. If when you go in there, if you have exactly ten, then it gives you a seashell there. So, yeah, I missed one right there. It was easy to get to. So I just need four more seashells, which I'm, I'm closing the gap really fast at this rate. So I decided to try for this instead. If you go, there's a, a certain place you can go right above the animal village that allows you to go to kind of a mini level. And it reveals some very important things about the island. So we'll just do that real quick. So he wants me to go to the southern temple. This guy right here. Oh, I hate you so much. I can't hit him because he's... Oh, he's such a jerk.
So we'll just head to the proper temple here in a moment after I check because I, I can't remember. I think there's a seashell right here. Oh, that's a fairy. Which I desperately needed. And I think there's a seashell buried nearby as well. I may have already gotten it. Okay, so there's nothing there. Okay, we're good. We're good. As long as we have narrowed down the search. So we have to fight these, uh, what do you call them? Armos guys here. So they... Looks like the... Hookshot stuns them but doesn't kill them. Which isn't that big a deal as long as you don't touch them, they don't come alive, so... I wonder if there's anything secret on the right side over here. Yeah, I knew there was a surprise, a secret here somewhere. I think it's a seashell. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. I'm, I got brain. I got one. All right, so let's uh, go on to this sacred temple of some sort. A oh, piece of power. Yeah, maybe I can uh, knock this guy asunder now. Get out of my face. Hate ya. I think there's a, a sort of a boss battle involved up here. Great, he's right where I need to go. Uh, I think we just go in, right? It's got kind of a creepy foreboding song to it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forgot. Uh, this guy's weakness is the arrows. He's pretty much the same guy as the one in uh, A Link to the Past. Oh, crap. Forgot about that. So he is not weak to the bomb arrows, but he is weak to the normal arrows. Not a bad, not a bad idea. Whoo! That was close. I was down to my last shot. About to, had to commit simpuku with whatever. Yeah, the face key. Yeah, but it's not all. We have to learn things. To the finder, the Isle of Koholint, Koholint is but an illusion. Human monster sea sky, a scene on the lid of the sleeper's eye. Awake the dreamer, and Koholint will vanish, much like a bubble on a needle. Castaway, you should know the truth. So, what did we just learn? That this place is just a dream. Wow. Kind of big. Apparently this entire island is just the windfish's dream. The, the owl will tell us all about it now. But So you've read the relief. Well, it does say the island is but a dream of the windfish. No one's really sure. Just as you cannot know if a chest holds treasure until you open it. So you cannot tell if this is a dream until you awaken. The only one who knows for sure is the windfish. So now we're stuck in a moral dilemma. Like, it's a pretty serious moral dilemma. It's like, do we continue our quest because won't all the people on this island vanish? Everything that we've done mean nothing because none of it is real? It's all an illusion? It's somebody else's dream? Am I someone else's dream? How did I wind up here? Who knows? I didn't mean to do that. I can now do this to get this heart piece. 
sweet cookies. Oh! Took me to the graveyard. Well, now that we have done all that, I don't remember if there's anywhere else worth going around in this area. Okay, guys, so we gotta go here and activate this Stalfo, or Armos. Let's see. Gotta use the hook shot. And it opens up a little gateway. It allows us to go through this little tunnel, and on the other side of the tunnel, after we uh, are able to use the hookshot there, we can put the key in this little weird facey keyhole thing. And a cool little level pops up. It's kind of neat. And with that, we are in the face shrine. Which is a cool level. I'll be back in just a minute. I actually have to take a break. But I'm going to include this on this particular video. So, see you soon. Hey guys, we're in the face shrine. And i got to be a little bit quiet because it's very late at night and everybody is asleep. Except for me. Actually, I would consider it early in the morning. By that regard. So, yeah. You know how it is. <clears throat> so we'll be a little bit quiet here. All these guys. I can't remember how to beat them. Maybe I blow them up. Alright, he's definitely going to be there. So I can move him around. Okay, so the bomb definitely works. I just gotta make sure I'm on the right, you know, timing it right. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's see what's up. Oh, this is where we get the, uh... Yay, more rupees. We're gonna need that. I'm not supposed to go in here yet. Uh, this is where we get the... We get a stronger bracelet. If I'm not mistaken. See, those elephant statues are just like really heavy compared to the ones we have right now to her to the pots and everything so we get a stronger bracelet so we can be like and throw them kind of like you know the giant pillars in uh that looked a little fisher kind of like the giant pillars in ocarina of time Oh. Opening all kinds of stuff up here. Oh, sweet. I need some arrows. Hmm. What's this? Ah, oh, I see. I bet I have to pick that up in order to... It's not. It almost looks like a body holding a. Oh wow! What the heck is that? Oh, leave me alone! <laughs> I don't. I don't want to fight you. Great. I'm going to fight another one. Yeah. I bet it hurts pretty bad if it hits me. I don't want it to hit me. Dang, got me. So we'll just go all the way back. I should have hit that bubble thing. I, I, I knew better than to leave it. Oh, it doesn't hurt me that bad at all. Okay, I'll just... No reason to fear you. You're more of an annoyance than anything. Okay, so we'll backtrack. Yeah, let's, let's see what's up here while we're at it. It's like horse heads. Oh, it's one of those. Okay, so I'm getting a picture of what I'm supposed to be. The, the boss in this level is the easiest boss, like, in Zelda. It is such cake. But, in its defense, it also is a little bit interesting. <laughs> oh, I'm clever. Real trick will be getting to the boss. I wonder if that's a bomb and this is an arrow every time. 
It is me to farm a few arrows. Nope. I've only got two arrows. Well, I can make it work. Hey, there's an arrow right there. I'm dumb. I wonder if the bow works on these guys. It's worth a shot. I got a few arrows to spare now. Yeah, it works on them. It just doesn't kill them in one hit. Okay. Or two. Or three. Takes four arrows. That's, that's so much better just to do a bomb. I wonder if the hook shot will stun them or something. Yes, the hook shot stuns them. But it doesn't kill them. So the trick is we're going to hook shot and then do that. to be tricky here. Alright. Whoops. <laughs> Come back. Right. I have a feeling I need to hit that to go through here. I may have been wrong. It's all good, I got plenty of bombs to spare. <laughs> wow. Aha, it's a clever ploy. I bet I need to throw a pot at that to break it. Found a fragment of a stone slab. I wonder what the stone slab says today. I think it actually, you know, as it gets on in the game, the stone slabs become useful. They give you tips that apply. try to break the door open with a pot. First I'm gonna... Just in case we need it. Yeah. Okay. So there's that. Yeah, not strong enough yet. I gotta keep working out. Okay, so we got a compass. I know. How do I stop you? tried everything. Oh yeah. We need to swap these over. Sorry I'm being kind of quiet guys. We'll just rush through this level and uh, it won't be an issue. That'll get him. Oh, 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 I have a key. How do you even get in that room with it? Like, like how's that room possible if all the things are hit? That's weird. I guess it's not. I guess you gotta go like all the way around. Yeah, I'm dumb. You gotta go like all the way around and hit the thing again. That's why it's even there. I see now. Okay, so that's cool. We have a key. I've only found one key so far. It's kind of unusual for a level like this. Oh, I see what to do. Well, shoot. I can't, can't do it. Alright, so what I'm supposed to do... Well, I can't do it from here. I need something... I see a secret room or something down there. Let me go down a couple. Down one. No? Yeah. Because I need the bracelet ability before I can pick up those elephants ah! and hit the uh, door like I need to. So we're going to go back.
We're going to take this path here. I think is the correct way to go. I think. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, wait. We need to go down first. Shoot. Start from the very beginning because there was a there was a door we didn't go in over here. This could solve the whole thing. Owie. Oh, these. You can uh, survive these just by doing this, though. The shield is so awesome in this game. It, it helps a lot. Even though I don't use it much. The whole AB weapons thing kind of makes it to where you gotta... There's something in here. This one even exists. Yep. Why would there be a room with a dead end? Looks like I should be able to go through. I can't go through there at least. Oh no, you again. Leave me alone. Jeez. He's rabid this time. Stop it. He's like sniping me with it. He's like so. He's like, Bruh, eat it. All right, well, whatever. Nowhere to go. This won't be a big deal. I think I get past him, and then I can uh, get the ah uh, you again. Stand here and take this like a man. a while to figure out I could do this and just stay there and not have a problem. I used to, you know, I'd try to fight it out like a manly man would. Hey, I better, uh, you know, it'd probably help if I had, I could jump away from his attacks. Get out of it. Jump on you. Stop on your grave. Wow. Two fairies, because I'm awesome. Can't go back through there, so. One would have. What? Is it an optical illusion? Okay, I'm confused. So I go through here, is there a special thing? Through either of these walls? It looks like I can go like all kinds of places and I'm not being able to go here. So I can't lift these yet, so this is not the correct way. Hmm. Go down and go through it. Well, you got me. Mm hmm. Great, except we gotta kill some of these guys again. Mm 
Not a problem, right? Not a problem. I believe that chest is what we're looking for. I thought I picked that up while we're at it. Alright, so we're about to get the super bracelet. I think it's... You've got a more powerful bracelet. So it's the more powerful bracelet. That's all it is, really. Lift objects as heavy as a whale. I'm going to lift these giant elephant statues like they're nothing. It's freaking awesome. Go anywhere and do anything now. No fear. Oh, we needed that so bad. Thank you. Thank you, game. I love you. Oh, I love that sound. It's like. Alright, so we'll go back over here and we'll figure out this puzzle because we're, we're on the cusp of it. I feel it. I bet this is the nightmare, though. I don't know. Maybe this is where we need to go. Huh. Oh my. Easy to do. Yet again. Just get in the corner and... Hold up. I'm not even going to jump that. That's right. Except I got it too anyway. Alrighty. Ah, jerks. They're kind of overusing the whole smash doors open with elephants gimmick, but... Just go with it. Oh yeah, this is just kind of an annoying little... Well, no, it's not really that annoying. You just gotta throw the these things until they both land on heads. That's it. I don't... I don't... It's kind of weird, really. I bet this is where you gotta go to the nightmare. Seems everywhere seems pretty legit. Everywhere's full of these things that I can't kill with my bare hands or any weapon I possess in my arsenal. Except probably bombs. I guess bombs work. Hey, you know what I can do? Eat it. Eat it, you jerk. I don't want to... No. I'm going to go up first. <laughs> I don't want to fight the snake guys. The snake guys, though, there's, there's a glitch you can do. We're going to make this fast. Pretty much going to get hit by those guys unless you jump. Which I'm a derp and haven't jumped. But it's the nightmare key. Not some rupees. Ooh! This place is just giving me rupees. I guess because... Where are these horses? <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Yes, thank you. Crap. It's stupid. We, we could probably uh, employ the glitch. Nope, you can't glitch it with these guys. The other ones that I fought in that uh, previous dungeon, uh, you kill one and leave the room, and you kill the other. But, I mean, they're cake to fight. It's not a problem. I just didn't want to do it. Uh, so I don't have a key. So I can't get it in there. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. So I can't get in there. 
Maybe that's the key. That's what I need. Unfortunately, I gotta get back up to the place I was at. Oh, what the heck? Something up in there. In order to get back up there, I'll probably have to do something dangerous and unpleasant. Glitches the game up for a moment. Too early, really? Okay, not that bad. I think we've been there, haven't we? Let's go down. We haven't been here yet. There's like half a dozen places where I gotta... There's nowhere to hook shot to. There's nowhere to jump to. <gasps> I'm, st I'm so stupid. Oh my gosh. It's it's way too late at night for this. Check this out. Go ahead and get hit. It's all good. Because this is probably worth it. 50 rupees for that? Are you kidding me? Shameful. So we'll go back through here. <laughs> Why do you even eat bombs? It's crazy. They tried to explain. Ah! Fell in the hole. They explained the Dodongos. They're like, yeah, they got, they got iron hide and they eat metally stuff or something like that. I don't remember what it is. But it's like trying to explain the fact that they were willing to eat the bombs because they ate stuff like that. I don't even need the piece of power right now, but I got it. That's what that's what it's all about. Thank you. This is the place I haven't been yet. Crap. That sucks. That's a bad it's a bad place to fall into a hole. Alright, so I don't have... There's zero room for errors with that guy. Alright. Well, you know what? You live, you learn. And I just learned. So. But I still gotta kill it. I wonder if the hookshot will kill it. Nope. wonder if the bow and arrow will kill it. Nope. The sword I know kills it, but... Means we're going to have to jump over to it. That'll work. That'll get the job done right there. Oh no. Is it one of those laser shooting guys? Oh my. Okay. Sweet! Thank you! Hey! That's, that's so nice of you. Check it out, this enemy is like cake and a half though. Just this big face in the floor, but watch him. Watch what he does. Alright. You hit my weak point is whoops there I go talking too much again you just stand in the middle and toss bombs when he respawns like he comes back just dance around
I don't think holes open up right in his face. All right, so see, I mean, I mean, he's cool. He's unique. He's not. He's not in any of the other games for any reason. I mean, that's neat, but he's pretty boring at the same time. It's like, whatever. I don't. I don't not like him or anything. He's just super simple. So he's like trying to psych me out. He's like, you know, if you uh, if you kill a windfish, then everything on the island dies and goes away forever. Just, just putting that out there. Oh, it's the little triangle. It's, it's kind of has a cool sound to it too. I love the instruments in this game. They're neat. All right. It's pretty cool. Alright, so the mountains are calling me. Let's see what the owl says first. Okay, before we do anything else, we're gonna go get that song. Because it's necessary. And then we'll see... Uh, then this will be the end of the episode. But first I'm going to go get the song. Because it's it's really important that I do. Okay guys. Just did the side maze again. And uh, now we're going to talk to the dude. And this time we got money. So I think he might sing for us. Let's see what's up. get a concert. So off key. <laughs> oh, Wart has the voice of an angel. Just, just an angel. Thank you, thank you very much, Croak. Alright. You've learned the frog's song of soul. It's a very moving tune. It can even liven up unliving things. <gasps> you play the song, you make everything around you feel more alive. It's like dropping all these hints. It's like, hey, you need to go play this around something dead. Let's see what that's all about. Ow. Alright, so the first thing we need to play the song by... We only need, I think, two more shells to get the uh, secret item. So we're closing the gap. Such excitement. Such excitement. What is it? What could possibly... What could this be? We've opened up a secret... Some sort of secret tunnel. Some sort of... What the heck? It's some sort of skeleton. What could this mean? And the soul of the majestic flying rooster has returned. <laughs> wow, the rooster has recovered. He seems very friendly. He is. He loves me. He like follows me around, but that's not the best. Thing. The best thing is with the. I can pick him up, Flora. That's hilarious. Oh, I love this game. You can pick up this freaking rooster and fly around with him. Dude, you're asking me when we started a little island. What do you mean by when? Whoa. I don't understand logic, man. So now I got the chicken. Or the flying rooster. Lady is supposed to be down there. I'm wondering if it glitched up. I'm hoping it did. Maybe she just appears down there when it's the right time to appear down there. Anyway, guys, we got the flying rooster. And with him, we'll be able to not only get uh, a couple of items that we weren't able to get before, but we will be able to get to the next level. 
we got to use him to get to uh, somewhere we couldn't get before, and he helps us get a key and all this other stuff. So anyway, guys, uh, this has been Mr. Wolfie. Thank you for showing up and staying around, because this is probably a long video. I don't know how long, because I'm going to edit the crap out of it. Probably at least an hour, I would say. But anyway, guys, peace out. This has been Mr. Wolfie. Love you guys.